Hey, good morning, guys. I'm Johnny, owner of Blazer Grass Lawn Care. If you had any questions about pine straw, I will attempt to give you the answers. Welcome to Pine Straw 101 with Blazer Grass Lawn Care. Enjoy. Okay, this is long needle pine straw. And we call it long needle because see how long the needles are? And typically long needle pine straw is fresher, is a light color pine straw and it will last a lot longer than the average pine straw. The average pine straw is the one that you will purchase at the Home Depot or the one that you purchase for real, real cheap. Now, the difference is that this will last longer and the other one is called Slash. Slash is, okay, how can I say? This is the one that freshly dropped and it looks nice and pretty and Slash is the one that's been sitting for a long time in the bottom and uh, the scraps, the scraps of the pine straw and that would typically last uh, three to four months less than long needle pine straw. Now, another question that I get is how often should I replenish my pine straw? And it's just like mulch, hardwood mulch. mulch. It depends on the look that you want for your property. I would suggest every six months you put a light top coat of pine straw to make it look real nice for you. Another question that I get is, how much area does a bale of pine straw cover? A bale of pine straw covers an average of 100 to 250 square feet. Again, it depends on who you get it from and how compact the bale is packed. Okay, so there's no one specific answer. Now, when it comes to slash, Again, guys, it depends on who you purchase it from and how much uh, pine straw is compacted within that bale. All right, let me show you what a bale of pine straw looks like. This is a typical bale of pine straw. This is what it looks like. And it always have two pieces of twig wrapped around it. And you just pull on this and we'll show you how it looks like when we're actually installing the pine straw. Now, long needle pine straw is extremely more expensive because it lasts longer and everyone doesn't do long needle. You know, only a, a handful of people actually do long needle because it's more expensive. We at Blazer Grass Lawn Care specialize in only long needle. That's it. We don't do slash, no, long needle. On average, we install between 8,000 to 10,000 bales per year of uh, long needle pine straw. Because again, guys, you're only as good as what people know that you can do. They, they, you know, we take a lot of pictures of our installation. We show customers our bales prior to actually installing it because we want to reassure them that they're getting the best pine straw available. Another thing is I've turned a lot of uh, uh, bulk delivery back because you have to inspect your pine straw. You know, you get a lot of long needle pine straw from these guys and they have a lot of trash in it. The goal is to minimize the amount of trash inside your pine straw because again, you're only as good as your installation. We have guys, we have companies and, and locations and, 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 and residential customers that only call us every six months or once a year for pine straw installation. We have a good working relationship with them because they know that we're gonna give them the best pine straw available. Everyone have pine straw. When you when you initially initially build your house, that's what they put. They put pine straw because it's, it's inexpensive, it's available, and it gives it a good look. Now, when we first install a pine straw, it's usually nice and thick and fluffy. And just keep in mind, guys, with time, it condensed down and it, and it packs and it minimizes the amount of weeds that you uh, you find um, in your in your plant beds. And this pine straw comes from a farm. It doesn't come off the regular pine trees. That pine straw is, is dirty, it has a lot of leaves, it has a lot of sticks, cones. This is uh, shifted and clean. 
so we can get the best installation possible. All right, guys, let's get hot. Let's go to this installation. All right, guys, let me show you. This pine straw has been here for roughly six months. So that's what it looks like. We're gonna fill the beds. And put straw all the way around. And there, and there, and all the way around the beds. All in here. Here we're gonna try to just do a band all the way around, not too deep. And in the back over here. And over here. And the nice thing about pine straw, guys, you can put it on top of the leaves and everything will decompose together. And here we're gonna do probably just the front part and over here all right so the first thing we're going to do is put out the straw every five to ten feet and see uh, if we have enough bales all right, let's get hot. All right, guys, now we have all the, uh, the bales staged. And again, we stage them every five to 10 feet. And I'm not gonna go all the way around, but yeah, that's the way you stage them. All right, let's begin the process. Just quest putting down some straw. Now, always make sure that you put it underneath the plant, underneath the shrub. Um, while you're blowing, you'll blow the straw off the top. And you can also use a rake to rake off the straw from on top of the plant. <clears throat> Do not stifle the top of the plant. Eventually, it's gonna go in between the flower and plant or whatever, but it gives it a prettier appearance. Now, if you notice here, he's putting it six or seven inches beyond the border. Okay, six or seven inches beyond the border. And what that is for is for when we're blowing, we can blow it under and tuck it and give it that nice, pretty effect like this. See? So again, when you're installing your straw, give it a six or seven inches like so if you look here it is and here's the board all the way over here so while you're tucking it it's gonna look nice and pretty for you all right let's continue
And I didn't understand that you were